generally, during DNA synthesis, coupling efficiency is never quite 100%. Some open ends during the D-block stage will not be coupled effectively and will be capped, rendering them inactive for the remainder of synthesis. These failed sequences remain in the oligo solution for the remainder of synthesis and processing steps. In addition to these failed sequences, other organic salts may be introduced during cleave and deprotection steps and will need to be removed before claiming a purified oligo product. Currently, there are several manufacturers of OPCs or oligo purification cartridges on the market today. These cartridges generally work by binding the DMT on oligos and then washing away failure sequences on organic salts to waste. This manual process involves multiple pipetting of various reagents to the cartridges and then draining them to waste using a vacuum manifold. This process draws precious time and attention away from operators and technicians. The Dr. Oligo process are automated purification and desalting procedures after synthesis. The instrument is highly cost and time effective because automating this process allows valuable resources to focus their time and efforts elsewhere. Operation costs are also greatly reduced from a reagent delivery system due to a unique 96 port distribution manifold designed by Biolytic. There is a large opportunity for error when delivering multiple reagents to 96 columns. However, when using the Dr. Oligo processor, all human error is removed. The Dr. Oligo processor offers eight reagents with flexible bottle assignments, accommodates different physical plate formats, and has a completely customizable purification process. The Dr. Oligo processor software allows a very simple adjustment of protocols to allow operators to automate whatever process they would need. So this is the Dr. Oligo processor. I'm going to give you an overview of the instrument to give you a better understanding of how everything works. First, let's start by examining the components of the instrument. As you can see, you have four regulators on the front panel of the instrument that explain various pressures of the instrument. Uh, the transfer chamber pressure here monitors the pressure of the transfer chamber inside here. And here we have the reagent bottle pressure gauge and regulator that's adjustable here. Uh, this monitors the pressure going into the bottle so they deliver at different rates. This switch controls the nozzle plate up and down, which is here. The drain and transfer pressure regulator monitors the drain and transfer pressure on the instrument and is adjustable by a regulator on the back rear side of the instrument. Uh, the reagent bottle pressure switch controls whether or not pressure is being delivered to the bottles. An example of how you'd use this was you would switch it off when you're changing a bottle and then back on when you're finished. The reaction chamber pressure gauge just monitors the pressure in the chamber here. So these two gauges are just monitoring and these two are actually adjustable. This slow drain gives you an additional drain as opposed to just this regulator's pressure. You can actually adjust the flow meter down to slow down your reaction speed. To whatever you would need. So let us uh, begin by opening this up and taking a closer look. As you can see the three main bottle reservoirs here are on the front of the instrument. In addition to that you have four here in the back for a total of seven. We can customize up to a total of eight total reagents depending on whatever process you're running. The inside of the instrument is there's two chambers. There's a reaction chamber and a transfer chamber. The transfer chamber, you start by placing your crude oligo product from synthesis here. And this actually gets transferred through these nozzles up and over into a reaction plate, which is filled with OPCs, 
or algal purification cartridges that are used in your purification procedure. So you set your reaction plate here, and then finally you have a collect plate here that you place in the collect plate chamber. This is the main login screen for the Dr. Algo processor software. A main benefit of our software is that it allows multiple users to have different levels of accessibility. This is the main user interface for the Dr. Algo processor software. The top main toolbar is where you select the protocol you want to run along with the number of columns. To select the protocol, first click the Select Protocol tab. Select the protocol you want to run from the drop down menu and hit OK. You can also edit an existing protocol or add a new protocol using the Edit Protocol tab. The column field is where you select the number of columns that you want to run for your given process. The left hand side of the screen is the extended protocol view where you can see a step by step view of the process and which step it's on. During the process the instrument will actually show you which step it's on by highlighting and moving on each step. The right hand side of the screen is a graphic interface where you can actually see which reagent is dispensing at a given time along with which valve is actuated at a given time. The bottom half of the screen shows where plates are in the reaction chamber in any given point during synthesis. Once you've selected the protocol and the number of columns you want to run, head to the operate tab and simply click run to begin your process. What you're hearing now is the valves turning on on the left hand side of the reaction chamber, first purging with clean nitrogen gas and then dispensing the first reagent of your process to prime the lines. Now that sound that you just heard was the clamps actuating to begin the drain process to drain the waste. The remainder of the process just includes various dispensers from the remaining reagents into the reaction plate and the subsequent draining of those reagents to waste. This is all specified in the protocol for whichever procedure you're trying to run. Normally, after all your reagents have been delivered to the reaction plate, the purified product can be bound to the cartridge whichever you're using. The next step in this process is to then elute your purified product from the cartridge into the collect plate that we put in in the beginning of the procedure. The Dr. Oligo processor is built to the highest quality standard and very easy to operate. Well, I hope this video has been very informative and has given you a better understanding of our instrument and how it works. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at any time.